Well, all this crap I got here, all these fresh vegetables uh, look healthy, but we're going to make it into something that's not very good for you, which is uh, homemade guacamole. So uh, just in time for the Super Bowl, um, whenever the Super Bowl was or is or is coming up, I don't know. But uh, anyway, basketball or whatever. Uh, here we go. Anyway, I got fresh peppercorns here. Uh, yeah. Just going to munch them up here with that little mallet hammer. This is going to be so good. Okay, now once you get that, you get kind of this uh, peppery crap going on here. Okay, what I've got here is the Ninja Food Processor. Uh, I feel like a karate champion when I'm using the Ninja. Uh, so we've got our pepper here. I'm going to put the pepper aside in a little cup. So some things we're going to need is we're going to need about half of a fresh onion. You can use whatever type of onion you like. I just kind of like the regular white or yellow onions. Red onions are good too. Whatever. Onions are good. So about like half. It's kind of a small onion, but I'm going to throw that into the Ninja. And we're going to get take one Roma tomato. I'm just going to cut it. Take that little piece off the end there. Roma tomato. Put it in the Ninja. Alright, now we're going to take some fresh garlic, uh, like a couple, probably like two cloves is pretty good. I'm just going to smash them with the knife like this, and then they're going to come apart really easily after that. After you smash them with the knife, then there's really no cutting or anything you have to do. There you go. There's the clove right there. Put it in. I'm going to do that to one more clove. There we go. Put that in the Ninja. Okay, now we've got a jalapeno. Depends on how hot you like your uh, guacamole. But this uh, guacamole, I like about about half of the jalapeno. I cut it off. I cut out most of the seeds as well. Depends on if you like it roasting hot or just kind of hot. Some jalapenos are hotter than others, so it just depends on what you're doing. But I'm doing about that much jalapeno in, which is probably going to be pretty hot. And move on to the next thing. Uh, we've got lime juice. We're going to be putting limes in. Actually, before the limes, we've got some cilantro. And you grip the cilantro like you're grabbing somebody's hand, hair, and you tear it out. Just like that. So it's just like you ripped out a handful of somebody's hair. And uh, then you're looking at the hair and say, ooh, this would be good in guacamole. So I'm going to put it in my guacamole. So cilantro in there with the guacamole. All right. Oh, this is going to be so good. Love this stuff. Here we go. Okay, next we've got our uh, avocados. I like to do about three small avocados or kind of two large avocados. Just depends on how much guacamole you're making. But I uh, you just cut your guac cut your avocado in half. Uh, take the seed out, of course, and we're going to scoop out the avocado into our guacamole. And we're going to do that with three full avocado. Three full avocados is what we're going to do. Here's the first two halves, and then we'll do that to two others. And just drop it into the Ninja as well. Okay, after we've dropped three of those suckers in, uh, three full avocados, and take a couple fresh limes. Actually, one fresh lime usually does it. If you've got the smaller limes, like the smaller Mexican limes, those ones, you could probably put two of them in. But with this one, we're just going to put one full lime and just squeeze the, all the juice out of there as much as we can into it. Out of one full lime. After the lime, like I said, we've got the pepper that we've crushed. So I'm going to drop the pepper inside. It's probably about like a teaspoon of pepper, if that. And then we're going to grab ourselves some kosher salt. If you're going to use the kosher salt instead of regular salt in its course, you're going to have to let the guacamole sit for about an hour so the salt kind of dissolves into the guacamole. But you're going to do just about, a, about like a half teaspoon there. If you like it a little saltier, then go ahead. A bit more. There we go. But that stuff takes a little bit while. That takes a little bit longer to dissolve than regular salt does. So, and that's it for ingredients. Now we're going to put the ninja back on. Put the lid on. Now, if you don't have a ninja, just use like a some sort of food processor or something. So this we're going to turn on and chop it. This 
this thing, it's such a crappy product that you kind of got to shake it. There you go. Take a look at it. Ooh, we got some good guacamole going on in there. 